Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I hope you all are doing quite well. I hope everybody is taking advantage of the $10 a week challenge that I put out there, and uh, everybody is really paying attention to why we need to be doing this. So this week, we changed up a few items in our grocery shopping, and we spent less than $10. So you can do this as much as you would like, as long as you spend less than $10. All right, so last week we bought shells. This week we bought some bow ties. All right, so we got to change it up a little bit, have a little bit of variety. We did pick up another one pound bag of long grain white rice, you know, so we have our pasta and our rice and everything else. And we did also pick up, let me see where they are. <clears throat> That'll be right here. <clears throat> We got two more cans of potatoes. So this way here we have pasta, we have rice, we have potatoes. You know, we're on a roll. Then we did go and we picked up another can of green beans. Now you can always get the cut if you would like. We did pick up another can of the lovely, lovely carrots. Okay, then we picked up a can of corn. Yes, we got to have a little bit of variety, some filler food, you know, and another can of peas. Now, you guys can do these in, in several different ways. You could pick up four cans of peas throughout when you go to your shopping. The next week, you would pick up four cans of your corn. The following week, you could pick up four cans of your carrots. And the following week, you could do four cans of green beans you know and then we did substitute last week we bought a can of chicken this week we did substitute and we kept it under ten dollars a can of roast beef this way here we're getting a little bit of variety in our stockpile you know this is very important that with everything that is going on in this world and what i am been talking about and everything else that's why i started this ten dollar a week challenge in a sense you know to help people see that for 10 bucks a week you can start putting food away for a rainy day you never know it could be a catastrophic event it could be a natural disaster it could be a loss of job it could be an illness it could be any of these things but if you start with 10 bucks a week ten dollars that's it and you start putting away a little bit of food each week you're going to see how much food we have at the end of the month and it really adds up quick that's what i'm trying to show you how fast this adds up so right now we have two boxes of pasta two pounds of rice we have a can of chicken a can of roast beef we have two cans of green beans we have four cans of potatoes we have two cans of corn two cans of peas and two cans of carrots already put up in our stockpile and we've only spent less than twenty dollars so i'm survival preparedness beginners you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Make sure you're doing this. It is very, very vital to you and your family to have some type of emergency backup in your home. All right. I understand people, you know, maybe you don't want to be labeled as a prepper. So don't look at it as you're being a prepper. Look at it as you're being prepared in case something happens with all the different nonsense that is going on all around us on a daily basis. And this way, you and your family can weather the storm. And that is what I am all about, is you being prepared. So until next time, you all stay safe. I can keep prepping, keep doing this $10 a week challenge. And I'll catch all of you on the flip side.